Like all suspension bridges, the cables of this bridge must carry this relentless load day in, day out, and remain structurally safe. The cables, depending on their size, are made of hundreds, even thousands of strands of steel wire. The main cable alone contains 11,000 tons of steel wire, enough to stretch for 43,000 miles. That's one and a half times round the world. If nothing is done over time, these individual slim strands can corrode and weaken. Eventually, the cables may not have enough strength to carry the load and the bridge may fail. To avoid this, a number of NDT methods are used to test and monitor the bridge continuously. For instance, this bridge is fitted with acoustic emission sensors that monitor the bridge for signs of cracking. Also, as the box construction of the bridge and the decking contains hundreds of thousands of welds, they have to be regularly inspected for surface or near-surface defects, magnetic particle inspection is carried out by spraying special magnetic ink that can then be viewed under ultraviolet light to see signs of any cracking. Some of the latest NDT ultrasonic technology uses phased arrays. This is when a large number of ultrasonic signals are fired sequentially at the area of interest. All these signals are reflected back and captured. They are then processed automatically by computer software to produce coloured images of the internal structure of the weld. Evidence of any defects can be analysed by NDT and structural engineers who then determine the right course of action. The maintenance and inspection of the bridge is a regular schedule drawn up by engineers and NDT experts to ensure the safety of the bridge and therefore the safety of the millions of us who cross her every year.